some beautiful footage of these wild dogs suckling. So there are about 11 of them. We've counted about 11 of them now. And not everybody gets a tea. everybody another lovely morning here in the Waterberg myself and Graham decided to go up to the northern part of the game reserve so we've been driving about 20-30 minutes up here and we've just come across some very fresh tracks of lion so we're gonna track these lions this morning and uh, see what the outcome is we'll keep you updated Okay, so we've managed to track these lines into an open area. Uh, we're still on this spoon, no visual yet, but the tracks are getting really, really fresh now. So we're hoping that we're going to find them in this open area. Uh, only time will tell, but we're going to carry on tracking them. Uh, spent about a good 45 minutes tracking them so far. They have spent most of the time on the road. But they have just gone in a block now, so we've lost the tracks temporarily, but we've gone to this open area where the tracks we're leading to, so we're hoping that they pop out somewhere around here. So folks, we've uh, done a circle back around, and we've now abandoned the vehicle. It's too thick yet to go off-road, so we're going to try and track these lines on foot. We've gone back to the last spur that we had, and uh, yeah, Graham and I are on foot, and we're going to see if we can find these guys. What a magnificent male lion. So eventually we were lucky and we found the male lion. Uh, we unfortunately didn't find the two females and the cub he was walking with. Uh, they seem to have gone in the drainage line just behind him there. He seems to be not in too much of a hurry to catch up with anybody. Uh, very relaxed this morning. Uh, we tracked them, I would say, a good two hours, and it's really, really cool when you can track for that long and eventually find them, the animal. Uh, the reward is really great. So we're very, very happy to find this male lion this morning. Uh, about watching him for about half an hour or so he decided he had enough and uh, was gonna go and relocate the females not after just sort of scent mocking a little bit on the way back to camp we were lucky enough to find one of our buffalo herds. You can see it's a very dry time of year, so these buffalo herds are struggling a little bit, but not too, too bad. Uh, you can see the calf there having a lovely suckle from the mother. Uh, this herd was a decent sized herd, and uh, we, saw, we saw them browsing, which is very, very unusual for buffalo. Buffalo tend to prefer to eat just grass. Just shows you that the bush is quite dry at the moment. Uh, buffalo resorting to even browsing, which is not seen very often. And then this beautiful, beautiful big buffalo bull. He looks like he's still in quite good shape. Um, you can see that boss, the horn, how it splits out from the middle and drags down. Really, really good specimen here.
So I'd like to recap the morning with some beautiful footage of these wild dogs suckling. So there are about 11 of them, we've counted about 11 of them now and not everybody gets a teat so you can see it's a lot of hustle and bustle to get a teat there. But amazing footage, remember you can catch these dogs live on YouTube. So today we started off very early in the morning, headed up to the north and we found the lions after a good amount of tracking and it was very rewarding. Then we found that beautiful buffalo herd and we saw plenty of general game in between today. So here at Tin Swallow, where conservation never ends, goodbye.